guys, welcome back to Home Built, and this week I'm going to get back into the rust repair. Okay guys, so those of you who have been following the project would have seen me a couple of weeks ago do the outside repair down here on this bottom corner of the A-pillar and I cut away a lot of this uh, steel on the inside as well. So now I've got to go back, let's clean all this carpet stuff out of the way, get the seats and everything covered up and uh, have a look at where I'm going to start. Okay, so you can see down here where I cut this all out uh, a couple of weeks ago and got rid of the rust back to sort of a decent spot. But um, I have a rust repair panel for this, uh, this corner here of the base of the A-pillar, but the rest I'm going to have to fabricate. So I'm going to go through and just tidy everything up, put some seam sealer in here and uh, get it all clean and tidy, and then I'm going to have to start making up uh, cardboard templates for the panels I have to make up. As you can see here, I'm actually switched from using cardboard to plastic sheet, which was actually one of your viewer suggestions. The reason for this is it actually makes it a lot easier to see through to where you uh, need to mark and uh, makes trimming a lot quicker and easier. All right, my piece is cut out and um, it's a nice fit in here now. It's gonna take a bit of panel beating and bending to get it to follow this uh, sort of compound curve we have in the corner here. But um, time to cut it out of my sheet and start making it fit. Not sure how well the camera's picking that up. It's quite dark down in here, but um, this piece, after a lot of um, cutting and um, I was just sitting it over the top of my handheld dollies and just sort of bashing it, just, just getting it, just working away at the metal, getting it sort of the shape that I want. And um, now I'm pretty happy with that piece. It's actually um, a pretty good fit with a bit of uh, playing around. So now I'm gonna take it out, spray the back of it uh, with a brush proof coating and then uh, weld it in. Okay, so that's in there now, and I'm pretty happy with that. It's, um, I mean, it's not 100% seamless perfect. It's under the carpet, it's never gonna be seen. Um, but uh, I'm happy with the quality of the world. I'm happy that I've uh, tied it up inside and stopped uh, further rust from happening. Now, my next step uh, is to go in and using my rust repair patch is to find out the bits I need off of this patch and cut it out and start welding this bit into place. Okay, so my first step with this piece here is, it's currently double skinned on the inner section, but my inner section is fine, it's just the outer section that's rusted, so I'm going to separate that out and just cut out a piece closer to the size I need and start trial fitting that in the car so I can sort of uh, get an idea of how much to cut off and um, how much I'm going to actually put in.
All right, that patch panel took a lot longer than it should have to get it right. It was miles off. The hole, there was no way the hole was lining up with the screw thread and it was far longer than this section just here leading back to this corner. And uh, yeah, it was 20 mil longer than it should have been, like longer than the car. So I don't know what's going on, but either way, after a lot of playing around, it is, um, it's looking good. It's all painted up. It's ready to weld in. Okay, so you can see in there that um, it's all new panels in here now. You can still see the edges of where I've welded the panels in, but they're pretty good. It's pretty close. So um, I'm just going to go along these, uh, these edges here, these factory joins again with some seam sealer. And that should be a wrap. Hey guys, following the British Army-led reopening of the Volkswagen factory in 1946, a sales network was established exporting to the Netherlands. In 1949, Heinz Nordhoff was placed in charge of the factory and over the following decade production increased exponentially. The one millionth Beetle rolled off the production line in 1955. The Beetle was popular as it was far superior to its competitors, the Citroën 2CV or 2 chevaux and the Morris Minor. With a top speed of 115 kilometers an hour and a blistering 0 to 100 time of 27.5 seconds, it had well and truly made its mark. All right, guys, that was very slow and time consuming today, but um, the A-pillar repair is done. There is no more rust there. I'm quite happy with how it's come out. Seam sealer's on. That's a, another job marked off the list. There's still a bit more rust at the bottom of the doors and stuff to tackle, a little bit underneath the... Um, the battery tray, but uh, we'll get onto that in another episode. As always, if you want to help the channel out, uh, just head down to the link in the description in our store and you can pick up some really cool shirts or hoodies or coffee mugs. All right, see you guys. Lead reopening or lead reopening? Lead reopening of the VW factory in 1946. Ah, uh, that is ground to a halt. Come on, I can do that. A sales line. Oh my God. The Citroen 2 Suzette. God, she did it.